receiving the book of musicals from the draw lots, the gorillas continue with waiting a week or two for the book to trigger with Murdoch, who after only waiting for three days, got impatient and now just sits in the living room waiting for the book to go off. Come on, book! It's only been... Ah, uh, how many days has it been? I've lost count. After he asked this, Russell walked past him. Five. But little did they know that a week had already passed and that the book would be ready. In her room, Noodle was sitting on her bed on a laptop reading some questions to fans. But it was the same question that annoyed her and that she didn't know the answer to. No, I don't know. How am I supposed to know? I didn't learn this when I was in Japan. For the last time, I don't know. Ugh. Noodle put her head down on the laptop's keyboard in frustration. She continued to stay in that position until 2D came walking down the hall, and he noticed her. Hey, Noodle, is everything okay? It's fine, thanks for asking. You sure? You seem annoyed. It's nothing. It's just everyone is suspecting that I might be an orphan. Well, to be fair, you were shipped to us in a FedEx crate, and you didn't seem to have anyone taking care of you. I know, but I don't have all the answers about everything. Suddenly, a strange noise was heard from downstairs. So, Tootie, Noodle, get down here! It's working! What is he talking about? Oh my gosh, the book! Book? What book? The book of musicals, the magic book the draw lots gave us, remember? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Meanwhile, in the living room, Murdoch was pacing the floor, waiting for his bandmates while the book continued to make a noise and glow. Oi! Mates! Get down here! I'm coming, I'm coming. You don't have to yell. Good, Russ, you're here. Now where are Tootie and Noodle? No need to get all loud, Murdoch. We're here. Has it already been a week or two already? More like just a week. Well, that's not too long. Now, let's see what this book has in store for us. Murdoch opened the book to the first page, and the first chapter is Annie. In 1933, 11-year-old orphan Annie lives in an orphanage with several other girls, run by the evil Miss Hannigan, but soon her life will change for the better, and it's up to you to help her. What? Are you serious? We wait a whole week just to help an orphan as our first adventure? Well, the place is run by an evil lady, which I'm already suspicious about, and it says her life will soon change, and I want to know what it is. All right, all right. Book, do your thing. As Murdoch said this, the book started to glow once again. Then the band got sucked into the story. Suddenly, they were no longer in Constu's and now in an old-looking room and building.